All right, this is my attempt to make a RO system for maple syrup. I got a uh, transfer pump from Harbor Freight, whole house filter from Lowe's, bought a high pressure pump. You can see it's a CDP 8800 from Amazon. Everything else I bought from Amazon. Pressure switch is attached to the pump. Two RO filters, some brackets, a bunch of fittings, um, tubing to pump from my sap tank, and then transfer it back into my evaporator. Quarter inch tubing, which that's just a piece of what I got. I ordered 30 foot off Amazon. And some more fittings. My thought is I'm going to take this cart from Harbor Freight, build a stand out of it, and attach my RO system on it so I can roll it around inside of my garage um, until I get my sugar shack built this summer and then I'll mount it permanent on the wall in there. So I'll take another video here in a little bit once I start getting the stand made and all the stuff put together. Okay this is what I've got so far. This is going to be the rolling base for my RO system. Got it set up so my high pressure pump will go up here in the corner and my pressure um, regulator will go here and then I've got a valve that will go here. My two RO pumps are going to go right here. So let me get it down and lay it down and kind of give you an idea of what I got in mind. So that's how I've got it figured out right now to uh, lay this all out on this side once I get it painted and put together. I've got a spot on the inside for the transformer for the high pressure pump. Then this three quarter inch line will come around the back side and that's where I'll mount the whole house filter and my sump pump is going to sit or my uh, other pump is going to sit right here on the bottom. So I'm going to get this painted and then uh, tomorrow I'll uh, hook all this up. That's how I'm going to mount the uh, other filter on the back side. Everything else will get mounted here and I got a hole for my electrical to come out through on the sides and uh, should be all set. So I'm going to take that off of there. Like I said, I'm going to get this thing painted up and put all the plumbing together tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. One RO system, hopefully functional. Okay, here's my uh, stand for my RO system. I got it all painted last night. So I can hook everything up to it. I'm thinking it's going to work out pretty good. So I can move it around my shop when I need to. And then uh, eventually move it up to the sugar shack. I'll uh, start putting stuff on it and take another video here in a minute. Well, I've got some of the stuff hooked up. Unfortunately, the packs of... Uh, fittings for these RO fixtures only come came in a pack of five so I'm short one I believe that's the clean water not the sap but either way I don't have any sap yet so I can't really try this out later it's a little sunny out today I'm hoping I can get five gallons or so just to see how this is going to work and see what my sugar content is going to be after I separate it so Right now, that's how I have these mounted on here. Got a one-way check valve here. I'm hoping I got that in the right place. If not, this stuff pops apart pretty easy so I can uh, do it over. I put a splitter here so I can run either one RO filter or two at the same time. Depending, I think I wanted to go separate with them. That way, uh, I'm gonna check my sugar content after running it through one versus daisy chaining these together. If I have to daisy chain them, I can. 
and I've also got enough room on the back side I could hook up a couple more if uh, I need to so I'm gonna hook up my other pump and my other filter and then uh, I'll continue on with the video okay here's the completed system I'm minus uh, one elbow down here so I can't hook up the other line but right now I have a hook to one um, so I guess we start over here we have our transfer pump we're hooked up this end here should uh, is gonna go into the raw sat pumps it up through there through my five micron filter then it comes around the side here into my high pressure pump which is all wired in and the transformer sitting down there in the top and we've got um, my pressure gauge and then there's a one-way valve a cutoff switch splits out on the top to go to this RO filter then to this RO filter and I have another switch here so I can run one or both then they're both going to be tied together down here when I get this I'll tee into this line and that is my um, runoff and I'll put these two lines into my barrels one for fresh water, one for uh, sugar. I have my plug in here for my transformer. Plug ins down there for my transfer pump. So hopefully, this system should uh, work pretty good. I think uh, total I've got about five hundred dollars into the whole thing. So. Once I get some sap, I'll give it a shot, and I'll I'll put that video up on YouTube with the, the rest of this. So wish me luck. Well, this is a test run. Um, right at the moment, I've got a little over 40 PSI. I just put some uh, water in it. Had one little leak. I forgot to hook up my pressure gauge. But, uh, so far, just transferring some water. Both of my lines are uh, working good. I don't have any sap, unfortunately. It's kind of early yet. So, um, it's the fifth day of February in northeastern Pennsylvania. But, going through five gallons of water pretty quick. I got my pump here. I'm going up through my 5 micron filter and around I press the gauge and just one RO filter at the moment so I get that other city. Got a little tiny leak right here, I'll have to fix that, no big deal. And then I transferred about 5 gallons of water in about 5 or 6 minutes. So that works as good as that, I should be in business. But it's not real noisy as you can tell. Transfer pump's a little noisy, but the high pressure motor, you can hardly hear it running. You barely you feel it vibrating, but that's about it. Alright, so I get some sap and I can check and see what the outcome is. I guess that's it for now.